on arm drag. These girls really don't care. Cross lines, stab you in the back, and then take to the spot. No one knows to kill them, tell them. You know what's funny? It's wrestling that you know, but it's that bitch that you fade. Talk about breaking kayfabe. Hi, my name is Eric. I am also known as the Dragazon Coco Moose. I am up and coming, I am very determined, and I'm ready to get into that ring, kick ass, and make a name for myself. I am a woman who needs no introduction. I simply do an entrance and people recognize me. I am a world-renowned wrestler, and I'm moving to New York. Because I need to tell my story my own way. My main goal now is to go outside of wrestling into the mainstream pop culture world and get those eyes on a matter of pride. Taking a matter of pride to new levels and like new extremes and just like all these different vendors, whether it's fashion, wrestling, drag, art, entertainment. I just want to combine it all. Featured on the cover of Victory Journal magazine. I asked Melina to join me and be my guest for the cover party. She's not picking up any of my calls. I'm like, what the fuck? Where is this board? I don't know if she's dead, if she's around, if she flew back to LA, if New York was just too much for her, if she's like drunk in an alley somewhere. So I haven't been to wrestling training in a few months. I just couldn't. Like, I got to the door. I just was like, I can't do this. Rick decides, fuck you, you're off the shop. There is much more than just makeups and arm drags, glitter and drop picks. This entire time I've been writing the book, it's been great. I mean, I've been okay with doing it, but then all of a sudden today, I just started, I just started getting emotional and started crying. And